The Gleak Football Media Day was today. That being, as many would say, and myself, the best conference in Division II football, headlined by this team right here, fellas, the Ferris State Bulldogs picked. I was going to say to repeat as Gleak champions, as they said on their social media, but Trevor, that might not be the case. They were indeed not Gleak champions last year. National champions, but not Gleak champions. That is, that's quite the conundrum. So, GVSU football was pretty quick to uh, call them out in a little bit of a, a rebuttal. That was kind of interesting. I what didn't you think see about, it. You didn't think about, you didn't see that? It just was like. I stayed away from all the Gleak shit today. It was just childish. It kind of They're out. still the national champs. Like, who cares? You won the Gleak <laughs> championship. You're a Gleak champion. You still, they're still the national champion. I heard Northern Michigan finna make some noise this year, though. I don't know. Is that what you heard, though? That's what I've been hearing. That's what you've been hearing? Who you been hearing Mark that from? Mark my words. This shit going to add fuel to the fire. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> so, Ferris State, a little bit of context for you guys who didn't see that. Ferris State puts out a tweet saying that, uh, you know, the back-to-back GLIAC champs are on their way to media day. And they are, in fact, not the back-to-back GLIAC champs. They're the back-to-back defending national champions. And uh, Grand Valley was pretty quick to put out this tweet. And they said, quote, we see some weird tweets coming out. Facts are facts, and we always give our opponents the proper respect. GVSU football, the 2022 GLIAC football champions. That would also mean defending GLIAC champions. This is the thing, bro. Who, whoever running Ferris account, you think they're like, oh, I'm going to get them with this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're, they're typing. Tum, 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 tum. Like, they all mad, bro. That's how like, it be. That's how it be. Oh, my gosh. When you, when you can't beef with a person in real life, you start typing on that keyboard hard. What if Ferris just sent back like a, like a screenshot of the ring? <laughs> <laughs> like, like just a blank. Like, come on, bro. That's why you don't say nothing. Like, cause then you can't. You, there's no receipts. You know what I mean? There's no receipts on when you can do this shit like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Cause then so you pull that up in a couple months here, yeah. right? Depending on what that the Anchor Bone Classic looks like. But uh, looking at the actual poll, though, all those things aside, Ferris State is picked to win the conference this year. They had 34 points with uh, what is that? Five? Is that five? Yeah, it's yeah. far away. Five first place votes. And then you've got Grand Valley in second, obviously, 31 points with one first-place vote. Davenport in third, 27, not too far behind. Really close, actually, with their own first-place vote, which was rather surprising. Um, but, Trevor, you and you I know had what, said You know what I was thinking? What's that? You guys probably thought the same shit, but Coach Anise probably so salt. You know I mean? He not he not going to pick or vice versa. They're not going to pick each other, that's bro. That's we exactly just saying. what we were that's saying. They're not finna pick. One of them did it. One yeah. of them was like, you know what? I'll be a good guy. Yeah. I'll give him a vote. The other guy was like, you know, we did this thing in math class once. Because he's, he's just for people who kind of understand, like, Grand Valley and Ferris, they obviously, like, the coaches can't vote for their own teams, we're assuming. So one of them maybe took yeah. the petty route bro. and said, I can't vote for myself. I ain't voting for your bitch ass either. I'm giving yeah. it to Davenport. Bro, this is, we had this, it's kind of like this is math. We had a math, this is kind of weird. But we had two sections split up in the class, one group and one group. And if you, if we both pick the same thing, we'd all get, like, a B minus on the assignment. Oh, but if but we picked circle and they pick square we'd all get an a and they all get a c plus you know what i mean <laughs> so we're, i'm over there i'm chopping it up with them hey yeah pick blah 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 blah. but like you know you know us over here we going for the a so <laughs> that's that's probably like what's something that happened like that i mean obviously they're not they're not doing circles and squares and like all that shit <laughs> yeah. but one of them was petty are you sure one of it them might be one of them was petty Tell that's what we that little one next to davenport when we know where that's from who which one? I think it was Grand Valley. They're like, they said they were they were two time Gleak champions. These votes were in far before that tweet came out, but that Damn is it. a good guess. That is a great guess. But I don't know for you sure. You can't tell me it's not one of them. You well, no, it's one hundred percent one of them. Yeah. I don't That's know. That's so who. funny to me. I feel like it would be Grand Valley though, because why would Ferris be petty about it? They're two time national champions, not Gleak, not Gleak national. national. Yeah. So why be petty about it? Otherwise, rounding out the rest of the rankings, we've got Saginaw Valley in fourth. We got Michigan Tech in fifth. Wayne State in sixth. And there's that cat team. Hey, seven. Shit. We like it. We like it. Do we? Mark my words. <laughs> This shit don't matter though. You can take it. You it can, don't. It really doesn't. You can matter. take it two ways, bro. You can take it the 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 classic way now, like this fuel for exactly, real. exactly. You could take it like that, or just like, bro, I don't give a bleep, and like, just go do your work, bro. Yes. Who cares? He they, said, they, mark they my words. They got no. They got no idea what you're doing, bro. Like this shit do not matter. 
They, um, they could have had us have first and Ferris out last. And I'd be like, you know what? I don't give a shit. Like, I really don't It's care. not going to change any results yeah. in the fall. Right. At the end of yeah. the day, it's all the preseason rankings are. But, Everybody's uh, zero and zero. It is, it is curious to look at these. The one kind of takeaway is to see what people think about these other squads, right? Yeah. These co- Like being at the coach's poll, right? The preseason poll. And, you know, the most shocking thing for me, and I tweeted this out in our account earlier today, only one first place vote for GVSU because you've got – five other teams there that are going to vote potentially for Ferris or GV. We're assuming that all of them voted for one of those two squads. Only one of them said that GV is going... They already beat them last year. So, and then also, I was just kind of surprised because you bring back the cornerstones of your offense and your defense. You got Cade Peterson back at quarterback. You got our D1R athlete, Abe. I'll flip the camera over to his plaque in our studio over here. Middle linebacker for them. You got running back. Tariq Reed is back after he freaking tested the waters of the portal, apparently. But you bring back all of these key pieces on that squad. Now, I'm assuming, guys, losing those three transfers, maybe, and obviously a new head coach, but Wait, losing I, those three transfers might have been a reason why GV only got that one first-place vote. But they're the defending GLIAC champion. They are. You got to remember that. Oh, shit. Um, those three transfers, those who, who do not know, uh, two of their top pass catchers and then All-American defensive back, that being uh, Jade Walker, Jalen Tillman, and cornerback Nazir Forquin all announced their transfer destinations. You've got uh, Walker's going to Texas A&M, Tillman at Bowling Green, and Forquin at Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin, joining his former head coach, Matt Mitchell, who is now on the Badger staff over there. So Correct. I'm assuming a combination of that and Coach Wooster taking over the reins, as they did hire internally, but it's still going to be a semi-new you know, GV team, because mm-hmm. you get a new head coach. A lot of things can potentially change. So I'm assuming a combination of those two, whereas Ferris, same wall, same ball. Anise at the helm. They got the formula. So I don't I, Is that When's that shit going to get old, bro? I don't know. Is it? I mean, I don't know. When they stop winning, honestly. When yeah. they stop winning, it might get old. But when they lose, like, two games and still sneak into the playoffs, because then yeah. they don't get to play at home when it's cold as shit. Yeah. I mean, that helps them so much, though. Dude, it's absurd. Like, I think the game that really illustrated that for me. Colorado uh, Mines. Or, they played that on a neutral site in Texas. Uh, not Mines. It was the game. Uh, I'm thinking Shepard. Yeah, not yeah, Not yeah. this past year, but she- two years ago. Two years ago. ago. It was, and they came and they were, like, starstruck, basically. Because it was there. Tyson Hill. That, yeah. or, yeah, or Tyson Hill. Uh, Tyson, Tyson Bajan. Bajan. I'm thinking, I just combined Harlan Hill and Tyson <laughs> Bajan. Uh, Maybe but, and Taysom Hill. <laughs> yeah. And Taysom. And Tyreek It could have been Taysom. But um, anyways, when Tyson Bajant took that Shepard team in there, they had one of the best, most proficient offenses in the country. You travel all the way up to Ferris State over there west side of Michigan. That's not, I mean, don't get me wrong. Shepard is, I think, in Pennsylvania, so it's not exactly the best weather ever. But traveling up north to Michigan. Lake effect snow out right off Lake Michigan. Exactly. So it's a little different. You saw the conditions on game. If, if you if you saw the conditions on game day there, you'd understand that Shepard offense was a hundred percent predicated on the pass. They had some really great run game too. Um, their running back actually he's right good. now, Ronnie Walker, I believe his name is. He's getting a chance with the Buccaneers in the NFL. He's one of those guys on that list earlier. But when you have an offense that is so predicated on the pass, you go up there and play smash smash mouth football. Is is uh just like is Ferris. the Gleak like? I mean, I would say the GLAC is the SEC of, of, of D2, but is it the most Big Ten football-y because of the location and the style of football? I mean, I, I feel like you can't, like, it has to be because it's so Midwestern. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it just makes sense, I think, yeah. right? Like, it just, especially when you watch Ferris, anytime and, and they're in the red zone. It's, it's the SEC. What do you mean red zone? They can go all the way down the field, not even throw the ball. <laughs> two years ago. What do you mean red zone? They do it at their own five. Yeah. Why am I drawing a blank on their quarterback two years ago? Well, not th- like last year, not, not this past year. This like you're talking about. Uh, you're not talking about Gulk. You're talking Malik Mitchell, maybe. No, 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 no. no the guy year. the Falcons. The guy in the Falcons. What's oh, this? Jared Bernhardt. Bernhard, yeah, yeah. He could go down the field and not have to throw the ball for the first like. I think it happened to us actually, but <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this sounds really familiar. <laughs> I wasn't. I don't think I was there freshman I wasn't, year. I wasn't we, there. No, I didn't we, travel. I was yeah. there filming. Um, but was that before or after they took their entire offensive line and substituted them out for the? Yeah, the 1B group. What other what other squad can do that? <laughs> oh, no, dude. That's why they're first on the poll. Because yeah. they do shit like that. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this shit's over. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my words. Mark my words. <laughs> That's fuel for real. That's fuel. But, um, yeah, the GLIAC preseason poll. Excited to see how that kind of turns out. And I guess one more piece I had on it, fellas. When you look at this, the GLIAC has almost been divided into tiers. And I think that's been shaken up. 
um, this past year, especially with the, the rise of Davenport, what they've been able to do in the transfer portal and bringing in all these different players. Um, I was talking to, you know, an unnamed man this past week whose son plays tight end at Davenport. There's 13 tight ends there. Guess how many were high school recruited or recruited out of high school? One. One. He was the one. The rest were all in the transfer portal. Not saying good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just saying it's very, 13? very different. That was what I was, said, was Very told. different. When you look at Fair State's roster on their website, you've got all the people with numbers, and then you've got a fat-ass section underneath with dudes with no number, and it's just dudes on the roster. You're talking they about got, Davenport, though. I'm talking about both. They got both running like this. They got just hella people on their rosters, too. It's crazy. That's what happens when you win, though. First time Davenport made it into the playoffs last I know, year. but, but they really ain't one shit. It's like, very... Like, <laughs> Yeah, but like it's very interesting. Now, I guess with the new way they're they're doing it, they could probably do it. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, but it's interesting to me. Like you have these almost kind of built out tiers, and it feels like Davenport is still not quite. I mean, we saw what happened with Ferris and GV. That halftime score from Davenport GV game, dude, thirty five nothing. Dude, it was even worse than that. You would have thought that Davenport came out and hit Grand Valley's mother before that game. Like I don't even know what the it might have just been a pent up aggression type deal or something. With them being so close to each other, it's kind of probably a bit well, of a Well, and they played a good game for the GLIAC championship. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if it was a good game, but they played at Davenport for the GLIAC championship. So, yeah. wild. Yeah, but I mean, still, you have Davenport and Saginaw were kind of in that second tier, and that kind of leaves, like, the Tech, the Northern, the Wayne State are just trying to not say not that they're knocks on these teams, still quality football teams, but just not quite to that level. Like, Saginaw Valley was just a few wins away from being in that same conversation. They lose to Davenport by one. Play Fair State really tight, and then uh, Grand Valley got away from them a little bit, but uh, really had a chance to have potentially four playoff teams out of the same conference.